Hey, greetings, 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 greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I greet you all, brethren, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The time has come, the time has come, the time has come, the time has come. Please call and tell your family. Let's tell our friends, the pastor is live. The pastor is live. This is our third day. This is our third day. This is our last day of our fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We can tell, we can tell our friends, other fellow children of God, other the pastor is live. The pastor is live. The pastor is live. Amen, 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 amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let us connect, let us connect, let us connect. The pastor is live, amen. Let us connect. The time has come. Let us break bread. The time has come. Let us break bread. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Let us share. Let us share. Let us share. Let us share, 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 let us share. The pastor is live, amen. Let us connect, let us share, let us tell everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, Yolisa, amen, Hadi. Amen, Tandiwe. Hallelujah, Linda. Amen. Let us join. Let us join. Let us share. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. Hallelujah, the time has come. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Good evening, Judith. Good, good evening, Debohang. Good evening, Precious. Good evening, Sia. Good evening, Tobegile. Amen. Hello, my brother, Jerome. Amen. Let us join. Let us come in. Let us join. Let us come in. Let us like. Let us share. Let us subscribe. Let us like. Let us share. Let us subscribe. Let us be comfortable, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your blanket. Let us dine and dig into the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has done. This is the day that the Lord has made. Come, let us rejoice. Come, let us rejoice. Come, let us rejoice. Thank you, thank you, beloved from Tembisa. Thank you. Thank you. 
I see my people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us join. Let us connect. Let us join. Let us like. Let us share. Let us subscribe. Let us like. Let us share. Let us subscribe. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Makay from Soweto. Amen. Marcia. Hello, Marcia. Hello, precious. Amen. Come, let us join. Let us join. Let us break the bread tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Chains are broken tonight. Chains are broken tonight. Someone is walking away with this deliverance tonight. Someone is walking away with this deliverance tonight. Connect, connect, let us share, let us like, let us subscribe. Let us share, let us like, let us subscribe. Let us connect, let us connect, let us connect. Let us tell our, our friends, our families, fellow brethren. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm here, my brother Eugene. The time has come. Awetani, I'm here. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Someone is going to walk away with this deliverance today. Chains are broken tonight. Chains are broken tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Someone is going to drink from the cup of knowledge today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Someone is going to drink from the cup of knowledge today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chains are broken. Someone is delivered. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are going to start soon. We are going to start soon. Yes, Lord. Hmm. We give you all the glory, El Shaddai. We give you all the glory, El Shaddai. El Shaddai, Adonai, you are everything to us, Lord, in this hour. You are everything to us, Lord, in this hour. We honor your name, Father. We glorify your precious name, Jesus. As we are about to break bread, you are the bread of life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You can also tell us where you're connecting us from. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you from Pearl from Botswana. You can only also tell us where you're connecting us from. Amen. Mm. Just write quickly where you're connecting us from. Write quickly where we, you are connecting us from. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 Abby from Pram Fisherville, yes. Hallelujah. Where are you connecting us from? You are everything to us, El Shaddai. You are everything to me, El Shaddai. You are everything to me, El Shaddai. Yes, precious. Yes, 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 Lebu. Amen, 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 sister Abby, amen. Hallelujah. Moda, amen, 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 Yolisa. 
Hallelujah. Springs, Vanderbilt Park. Hallelujah. Wheat Bank. Amen. Amen. Beggars Ford. Beggars Ford. Hallelujah. You can tell your friends, tell other brethren and family that pastor is live. Chains are broken now. We are going to start soon. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Pimville. Thank you, Pimville. Thank you, Centurion. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Pretoria Centurion. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are everything to me, El Shaddai. Yes, yes, Linda. You are everything to me, El Shaddai. Thank you, Maletati. Thank you, Plumfontaine. Thank you, Judith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Juliet from the UK. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Grab your tea. Grab your coffee. Be comfortable. Let us dive deep into the word of God. We're diving deep into the word of God. Hallelujah. Hmm. Welcome, welcome, Peter Maritzbeck. Welcome, Pumalang, Sis Precious. Welcome, Sis Nelsi Web. Welcome, 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 Botswana. Hallelujah. You are everything to me, El Shaddai. El Shaddai Adonai. You are everything to me in this hour. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us start. Um, let us close our eyes and pray so that we are going to start. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come to you in this hour, O oh Lord. We are laying our crowns before you, Jesus Christ. We lift your name higher in this hour. You are Yahweh, our Savior. You are our Lord. Father, we worship your name now. There is no other name that is given to us, Lord, under the sun. It is only the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we come in that name in this hour. Father, I present this podcast now before the mercy seat, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, hear your people Across the globe, Father, they are hungry for you. They are waiting for you to talk to them. They are waiting for you to break their chains, chains that have tied them for many, many centuries. Lord Jesus, you are the answer. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, reveal yourself in this hour to everyone that is hungry and waiting for you. Jesus Christ, I'm only the vessel. Father, talk through me and touch your people. Heal your people and deliver your people. They are hungry for you in this hour. You are mighty, O oh God. You are worthy to be given all the glory. You are worthy to be given all the praise. You are everything to us in this hour. El Shaddai, you are everything to us, O oh God, in this hour. We give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you now. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes, Lord. The Jesus that we are referring to here, there are so many Jesus out there. The one that we are talking about in this channel, we are talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We are talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Can someone type in there? Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. It is the one that we are preaching in this channel. It is the one that's going to deliver you. It is the one that is going to break every chain that is tying your life. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we have been fasting. All of us, I presume, we have been fasting. Amen. Thank you, Linda. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 
we have been in this journey of these three days fast and we were fasting for one thing amen it is repentance and confession hallelujah it is repentance and confession hallelujah repentance and confessions hallelujah repentance and confessions i thank the lord god almighty for revealing himself in the past three days with the amount of testimonies that you have received on day one, people were saying, when I was praying, I saw this. When I was praying, I saw chains breaking, rusted and all chains, thick chains were breaking. And, and I can feel I, something is lifting off my life. Hallelujah. This is the secret that the devil has hidden away from us for us not to tape into. Amen. The, the scripture that we are, we are going to tap into a couple of verses today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, 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 the verses that we are going to tap into today, we are, they are going to show us the power of confessing, the power of repentance. Amen. The Lord, when created us, he gave us a will. Amen. What separates us from everything else that, is, that was created by God is that we have the will and we, have the, we are moral beings. We can choose. Amen. And then, and then we can also make our choices, choices known through, the, through our acts and through the things that we say. Hallelujah. They, that is why there is so much power in the confession. Because the power comes from the words that we speak. God Almighty when creating everything. He used words. And words are very powerful. Amen. And then when we confess. We are breaking barriers and chains and powers that have been caused by our words or words of our great grandfathers when they were initiating us, when they were tying us into covenants, the covenants that are, are, are blocking you from going forward. Now, if you confess and you renounce those covenants and, those, and, 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 and breaking those chains, you are therefore able now to get into the new covenant with Jesus Christ that you would have assumed through salvation. Hallelujah. There are, there are covenants and sins that would, 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 would automatically vanish or leave you once you get saved. But there are, the, there are some that need you to confront them. There are cult altars that need you to open your mouth and renounce them, condemn them, amen, break them. There are uh, curses that have been spoken against your life that needs you to, be, to break them, to confront them and break them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is just by the way of 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 of, of um, introductions and recapping and getting everyone up to speed. Amen. I really do hope that we were in the fast. Hallelujah. Uh, and your life will never be the same again. You are going to tap into this uh, dimension. Uh, of salvation which is called repentance and 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 the power of confessions hallelujah first of all i would like us to read um to sharpen our swords and read the book of 
Matthew 17, the book of Matthew, in the first book in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, 17. We are going to take our reading from verse 21. Hallelujah. Someone is typing that verse there for future reference. It's Matthew 17, verse 21. Matthew 17, verse 21. Matthew 17, verse 21. Amen. It reads as follows. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. However, however, this kind does not go out. Hallelujah. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. We are in day three, our last day of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Not just by prayer. This kind that is tying you today, that you cannot find a job, cannot just go away by prayer. It needs fasting. And we've embarked that. And on top of that, in this prayer, it is not just an ordinary prayer. We are using this weapon called repentance. We are using this weapon called confessions. We are opening our mouth and we are confessing. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Amen. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I have sinned before you. I have sinned through sins that I don't know. Amen. You, when you are born, you are, like a, 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 you are like water. Water that takes a shape of a container. The curses, the covenants, and the, the sins of your forefathers, they form the shape. And you are just like water. Your destiny is almost predetermined. Pre pre Amen. Hallelujah. Your destiny is almost predetermined through the sins of your forefathers, which is called iniquities. Hallelujah. Covenants, bloodline curses, and all that. Amen. Because it runs in your vein. It runs in your blood. So today we are coming through prayer and fasting, and we are breaking those chains. Hallelujah. We are breaking those chains. We are taking ownership and saying, Lord Jesus, whatever destroyed my father is never gone, it's not going to destroy me now. Whatever destroyed my mother is not going to destroy me now. Whatever is destroyed my, 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 my four generations, it is not going to kill me now. I break those chains. I'm getting out of this cage. I'm getting out of this jail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, you are going to face the jail of failure and say, you prison gates of failure, be opened now. Today, you are going to face the chains of stagnation. You chains of stagnation, be broken now. You anti-marriage chains in my family, you are going to be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. We are going to take our second verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to take our second verse from the book of Lamentations, verse 5. I mean, Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Hallelujah. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Hallelujah. Please type that verse in the comments there. Lamentations chapter 5. We are taking our reading from verse 7. Praise God. Amen. Lamentations 5 verse 7. Hallelujah. Lamentations 5 verse 7. It reads as follows. Our fathers sinned and are no more. 
but we bear their iniquities. Thank you, Jesus. Our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear our iniquities. Our fathers are no more, but we bear their iniquities. Hallelujah. I used a, a, a New King James Version. Hallelujah. Our fathers, they are no more. They are gone. But whatever sins, curses, altars that they created, that they initiated us to into, today we are bearing those iniquities in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. There are no more. But those sins, the curses, the iniquities have been transferred from one generation to the other. From one generation to the other. Hallelujah. They have tied us into backwardness. They've tied us into failure. I am a child of God. I am saved. I preach the word of God. But I am poor. Poverty is written in my face. Much as my sisters are poor and my brothers are poor, the entire lineage is poor. Amen. The entire lineage is poor. The entire lineage that dies before time, untimely death. We can't get jobs. Hallelujah. Our fathers are no more, but we are here to bear their iniquities, the sins of our forefathers. They are following us. Lord Jesus, I'm here today. Hallelujah. On our first uh, podcast on Saturday, as I said, if you understand now the spiritual responsibility that you have, it is no more praying for yourself or praying for your, for your wife or your husband. Now you understand that I am the Moses of this family. I am the Moses of this bloodline. Hallelujah. I am the I must confront this altar and break it to release everyone from there. Hallelujah. I am the Moses of this generation. I am the Moses of this village. I am the Moses of this this family. I need to break this altar. I need to break the covenant to get everyone out of this covenant. We are tied. We are covenanted into something that we do not know. Amen. And then I, 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 I mentioned um, on Saturday that it is it, it, the spiritual principles are very important that we understand them. Because now you do not plead innocent ignorance in the in the realm of the spirit. There is nothing called in ignorance in the realm of the spirit that is why god himself says my people perish because of lack of knowledge you can never come to the throne of heaven and say god i didn't know or turn to the devil that he played me the devil fooled me around because i didn't know yes you didn't know we know that that is why we say you perish because you don't know hallelujah that is why we say you perish because you do not know. Amen. So it is important that you, you drink in this cup of knowledge. And Jesus Christ is the knowledge. The word of God, the Bible that you have, it is a book of knowledge. So that you know, so that we can be able to conquer the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. So our forefathers, they have sinned and they are no more. Now that we are here, we are accountable 
Me and you now, we are here. We are accountable. Me and you now, we can do something to break this pattern. We can do something to stop this pattern for the future generation so that the future generation can enjoy the land of flowing with milk and honey. Amen. That is exactly what Moses did. Amen. For years and years of slavery that the, the, the children of Israel were going under. They were suffering from slavery under the hands of Pharaoh in Egypt. And God raised one of their own. He did not bring an outsider. God raised one of their own. Moses, a Levite. Levi was one of the, 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 the sons of Jacob. He is bringing one out of your lineage. He is bringing you out of this lineage. And he's saying tonight, you can break these chains. You can break this altar. You can deliver your people through the power of repentance and confessions. Hallelujah. Yes, Zamaposa, you are the Moses of your family. Hallelujah. Maybe we can all type that tonight and say, I am the Moses of my family. Lord, send me now to go and deliver my family. I am the Moses of my family. I am the Moses of this generation. Lord, send me now to go and deliver my family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. The powers that are in these chains, the powers that are in these altars, they can be broken through repentance. They are no more. Father, they are no more. But I'm here now. I'm standing in the gap on behalf of my brothers. I'm standing in the gap on behalf of my, my, my children. I'm standing in the gap on behalf of the future descendants. After we have left this world, Lord Jesus, the children that are going to come after us, this pattern is not going to repeat itself. I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I break it now. I am the Moses of my family. I am the Moses of my family. I am the Moses of my family. Can I speak to Moses? Can I speak to someone who is saying today, I want to deliver my family? Who is saying today, I want to deliver my brothers and sisters? We are coming out of Egypt. We are coming out of Egypt. Today, chains of slavery are broken. Today, chains of bondages are broken. We are coming out of Egypt where our forefathers tied us into. Yes, Lord. I am the Moses. I am the Moses. Hallelujah. 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 Let us also just take uh, a reading from the book of Exodus. I am the Moses. Exodus 34. Verse 7. Exodus 34. Verse 7. Exodus 34 verse 7. Praise God. We are going to pray tonight. There is a lot of prayers that we are going to pray to, to do tonight. I want to go to those prayers with someone who is saying, I'm heartful in Africans. I'm sick and tired of this failure. I'm sick and tired of this technician. Nothing works. I spoke, we spoke at length on Saturday about sin. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2. The hand of the Lord is not short. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord is not short that he cannot give you a job, that he cannot heal you. What is, what is it that is, that is between you and God? That answer is sin, my brother. That answer is sin, my mother. It is sin. There is no amount of 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 of, of oh, 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 you know of manipulation that you can do to manipulate the system. I told you this the realm of the spirit is moved by principle. You need to apply the correct key 
to open that door. Hallelujah. You need to open your mouth today and renounce sin and repent and confess. Hallelujah. Go and sin no more. Pick up your mat and go. Go and sin no more. Why would Jesus um, keep on emphasizing that? Go and sin no more. Sin, Bazalwan, sin, brethren, sin. I want you today to understand the, 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 this thing called sin. This place is holy. Jesus is holy. God is holy. Hallelujah. God is holy. What, 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 what hides, what makes him to hide his face from us is sin. Hallelujah. That is why then we say, Today we are revealing the power of confessing, confessing that sin. And when you confess it, it's like it is, it, is, it, is, it has a grip in your hand. And when you confess, it let go, it releases and it lets go because that power is being taken off through you opening your mouth and confessing sins. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sin power over my life be broken. Sin power over my life be broken. Be broken. I'm going to the new covenant. I'm going to a new covenant. The covenant of Calvary. I'm breaking the old covenant. I'm going to the new covenant which is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm getting out of the covenants that are sealed by bloods of goats and chickens, but I'm going to the new covenant, the covenant of Calvary, that is sealed by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were reading the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 34. We are going to read verse 7. Hallelujah. It reads as follows. Keeping mercy for thousands. Forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. By no means clearing the guilty. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. And the children's children to the third and the fourth generations. He, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. He's the same God who wrote this word. Hallelujah. He's visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. You are suffering from things that you do not know. You are not there. You don't know. The poverty that is, that, is, that is tying you so badly. You are manifesting poverty everywhere you go. These are things that you don't know. It is visiting the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation until someone breaks it. I am the Moses of my family. I am the Moses of my family. Sin power over my family be broken today. Sin power over my life be broken today. The sins of my forefathers are being broken today. The shame, the reproach is being washed away from me today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The power of immorality over my life be broken. The sins, the blood, the veins that are running through my, 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 my body. They are full of iniquity. They are full of sins. They are full of anger. They are full make me angry. They make me stop on. They make me, they make me, they, 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 they make me 
not to want anything to do with God because it's sin. It is a sinful nature that has been implanted in my family. Hallelujah. I'll, I'll just go through a couple of iniquities. Remember when we spoke about iniquity, we always speak about sins that predate your existence. These are sins of your forefathers. Hallelujah. These are sins of your forefathers. I was not there. I don't know them. But hey, they are following you. You are going to Johannesburg. That murder that your forefather did is following you. We are going to Pretoria. That, 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 that sorcery that your great grandfather used to do is following you. But I'm a child of God. You are manifesting the same things that your, your siblings are manifesting. Yet they are not children of God. Because the entire bloodline is cursed. Sin power over my life be broken. Iniquities. When we talk about iniquities, again, the Bible is talking about, is always referring to sins of your forefathers. It, they are called iniquities. Hallelujah. I will make a, an example of a few. Like sorcery. Sorcery is a very deep and entrenched iniquity, sin, that, 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 that has been widely practiced. Amen. And that sin, amen, and a bloodline that is suffering from that kind of iniquity, there is too much rebellion. You find yourself being so stubborn, everyone in this bloodline, is so, so, so rebellious. You must know, as a child of God, that they were so sorry, deep-rooted so sorry in this bloodline. Hallelujah. 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 And things like um, mental disorder, depressions and stuff, will, will then show, then all those things show you that there is deep, there was deep, rooted sorcery in the bloodline and it predates all of you it's quite old and someone needs to come up and go to the throne of mercy into the into the throne of mercy and lift up his hands or her hand and confess and repent confess the sins of sorcery in the bloodline. Father Lord Jesus, I confess sorcery. I repent on behalf of my bloodline from the sins of sorcery. Amen. Hallelujah. Other ones are like bloodshed. Bloodshed. Bloodshed is very common, especially in Africa. We had tribal wars in the 90s in South Africa. Some people were seen as heroes. The devil was behind all those things. People killing each other. Shedding innocent blood. That thing will never go away, my brother. It will never ever go away. It is a sin which has become a curse in a bloodline. Hallelujah. And how are you going to see that? The people will resemble, will manifest bitterness. 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 The bloodline is bitter. Your friend, your brothers, your sisters, you are all showing signs of deep bitterness. Hallelujah. And eventually you see premature deaths. Premature deaths. People dying before time. Premature deaths. The iniquity, the deep-rooted iniquity was bloodshed. Were you there? No, you were not there. Do you know why those people were killed? No, you don't know. But hey, because it's a spiritual principle, our fathers are no more. Me and you are here now. We must bear that plan. We must carry those sins. Hallelujah. Another common one is adultery. It's very common across all tribal lines, across all nations. Adultery is very common. Hallelujah. 
And then you'll suffer injustice. Everywhere you go, you are suffering injustice. You are suffering injustice. You must know that in the bloodline, there was deep-rooted adultery somewhere. There is a generation in your bloodline that was so deep into this adultery. And us now, we are suffering. We are manifesting injustice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you are having a pen and a paper and you are writing down this, uh, this point. Because from now, from today, it is never going to stop. You, this is going to be your ammunition in prayer. Confessing sins. Confessing iniquity. Repenting on behalf of your bloodline. Repenting on behalf of your forefathers. So adultery, you'll see a lot of injustice. Hallelujah. And then you'll see a lot of shame and reproach. You're seeing a lot of shame and reproach because of adultery. Because of adultery in the bloodline. The next one is fornication. Fornication is everywhere. You yourself, you are doing it now. And you are, you are doing it not knowing that you are tying your children. Hallelujah. The devil may give you excuses about your husband, about your wife or whatever. And you are finding that excuse to go out and fornicate. Literally, did you know that when you are going there, you are going with your generations up to the third and fourth generation. They are going to suffer. Hallelujah. The most common, um, the most common, um, resemblance or, 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 or indicator of, of fornication in a bloodline is rejection. Is rejection. Oh, men of God, pray for me. Everywhere I go, I'm rejected. My friends, they reject me. My, my, my colleagues reject me. Everywhere I come, rejection. There is a sin that we need to to, 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 to confess. There is a sin that we need to repent, that we need to cry to God about. And that sin, in most cases, is fornication. Witchcraft. Hallelujah. Witchcraft is another form of iniquity. Deep-rooted in our bloodline. Deep-rooted in our bloodline. Our African bloodline. Hello, fellow Africans. Witchcraft. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the kingdom of God is run and is oiled by the Holy Spirit. What makes the wheels to run in the kingdom of God is the Holy Spirit. That is why when Christ, Christ was ascending to heaven... He was telling them that if I were you, basically, I would wait for this guy that is coming called the Holy Spirit. He's going to be your comforter. He's going to be your enabler. He's going to give you utterance. He's going to give you the things that I could not give you. So what makes the kingdom of God to flourish and to run is the Holy Spirit. But then on the contrary, on the other side, what makes the kingdom of darkness to run is witchcraft. In our African context, witchcraft is always that old granny in the village that used the broom to fly, sometimes the loaf, sometimes the, 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 the lid of a pot or whatever. This, the, this is our definition of witchcraft in the African context. But witchcraft is very broad. In your big corporates there where you are working, that whole thing is run by witchcraft behind the scene. The whole kingdom of darkness is run by witchcraft. But the one that we are talking here, we're talking about here, is it's 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 our 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 bloodline witchcraft that in the in our bloodline there were witches. There was someone that was practicing witchcraft. Hallelujah. And we will then show the high level of immorality. 
the bloodline, your, your, your family, your sisters, your brothers, your siblings, you are showing a high level of immorality. You are so immoral. You must know that down that, down that bloodline, there was witchcraft. Hallelujah. 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 And another indicator would be violence. Violence and abuse. We suffer your, your, our people, your, your family is violent and there's so much abuse. There is witchcraft. Don't look far. I am the Moses of my family. Hallelujah. Then another one, common one, is robbery. There were some things that were done in our, our bloodlines. Robbery happened in our bloodlines. And what are we seeing now? We're seeing a high level of greed. A high level of greed with the current generation. There is greed. It comes from that the seed was robbery. Amen. And then what, would, what else would you see? You see scattered and wasted potentials. Scattered and wasted potentials. You ask yourself, this, this, is, this is like gold, golden potentials. But people are just wasting it. It is not them. It is the power of the sin in that bloodline. Hallelujah. 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 So these are just examples that when we pray later on, you must know. That is why I said at least if you have some pen, write down these notes. Because we are tapping you are drinking into a, drinking from a cup of knowledge tonight. Hallelujah. The devil is tying you because of lack of knowledge. You are dying because of lack of knowledge. There is sin and these things will never go away through salvation only. That is why we need to stand up tonight and come to the mercy seat of God and cry for mercy. Lord Jesus Please have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, please have mercy on me. I am a sinner. It is no longer now. My, my forefathers are, are sinners. It is me. I take the sins because I am suffering because of those sins. Therefore, it makes sense that when I go and ask for, for forgiveness, I do not exclude myself. I am the one that is asking for forgiveness on behalf of them, on behalf of the current generation, and on behalf of the generations that are yet to be born. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sin power over my life be broken. Sin power over my life be broken. Hallelujah. The power of immorality. Be broken now. Be broken now. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking tonight. Chains are breaking tonight. Mm. The doctrine of saying you are saved. Everything is washed. And you are, you are a new creation. Yes we are. Yes. Do not make that mistake. We are a new creation. But there is this principle also in the word. Where the word requires us to confess our sins. It is not stealing. I cheated. I didn't bring back the change. My husband sent me there. I didn't go there. I lied. Yes, those are sins. Which we need to confess. But we're talking about this, the deep-rooted sins here. That are running in your veins. Those children in front of you, you have already transferred failure. You have already transferred infirmities. You have already transferred the things that have made you fail as well. Because they are transferred from one generation to the other. Until someone like Moses. Hallelujah. Ebazalwan. God mighty as he is. Having chosen his nation through Abraham and made a covenant with him. Why didn't he just open the doors 
and the gates of, of Egypt and let the Israelites go out. Why? It was his chosen nation. Why? These people had to go. He had to go and send one of their own and go and confront Pharaoh and go and confront all the altars, all the spirits of darkness of Egypt and break them and destroy them so that they can let go of the children of Israel. Hallelujah. So that they can let go the children of Israel. Four hundred years of slavery. It can never be just in and out. There were ten plagues there. There was a back and forth between God and Pharaoh. Amen. To release the children of Israel. Hallelujah. You can never summarize this part of this of prayer and summarize it to two minutes. Because you are rushing to, for, to, to pray for a job. We are rushing to pray for a husband. If I were you with this kind of knowledge, I would dwell and dig deeper, dive deeper into repentance. And break the chains so that when you go and pray for, for, for a husband, that would be much more easier. Because the power that is tying you, that is holding you back from receiving these packages that God is sending to you, it is sin. But men of God, it's not my sin. Go and read the scriptures that we have read. Our fathers are no more and we are suffering. Hallelujah. Our fathers are no more and we are suffering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. On Saturday, we, 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 we learned a lot about the man of God called David. Gave you a background of these teachings that the Lord Jesus himself spoke to me about this. And he said, my people are, are perishing because they do not understand this concept and they overlook it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People are rushing to pray for cars, for jobs, for husbands, for wives. No. For as long as there is sin, my brother, for there is long as there is sin, my mother, you are wasting your breath. You are wasting your time. Hallelujah. The, the, the kingdom of God, the realm of the spirit is, is moved by principles. It is laid out that men shall humble themselves and pray. Hallelujah. Ask for forgiveness. They shall must confess their sins. Confessing sins is not to say, Lord Jesus, you know my sins. You can see the, the depth of my heart. I am sorry, Lord. Please forgive me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, please forgive me now. I'm going to sleep. Amen. Then you start. I want the husband. I want my wife. I want children. Give me children. Give me children. Lord, you promised us. Lord, no. No. The energy, you are putting it in a wrong place. Put the energy unto sins. Put the energy unto repentance. Go and sin no more. Your sins are forgiven. The people that were, were, were sick would rise up, roll their mats and go. Because of sin that has been forgiven. Hallelujah. Let us move on to get another um, scripture now from the book of First John, chapter 1, verse 8. It's a common verse that we all know. First John, chapter 1, verse 8. Hallelujah. First John chapter 1 verse 8. Tonight we are going to pray. Tonight we are going to pray. Sin power over my life be broken. Tonight you are going to face those altars that have been harassing you. 
Tonight you are going to face the curses and break them. Tonight you are going to face the covenants that are tying you and your family. You are going to face them tonight and break them and release your people through repentance and the power of confessions. Amen. We are going to read um, verse 8. Hallelujah. First John chapter 1 verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Amen. Yes. The gospel of we were saved. I'm saved. I'm, I sin no more. And this, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse 9. Hallelujah. I love verse 9. If we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, if we open our mouths and we confess, if you open your mouth and you confess, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Our fathers are no more and theirs, our sins are with us. We are bearing those sins, but if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. The forgiveness of sins brings about healing. The forgiveness of sins brings about deliverance. The forgiveness of sins brings about healing. The forgiveness of sins brings about deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Forgiveness of sins. Amen. Amen. If we quickly go to the book of Psalms 103. The forgiveness of sins. Jesus Christ. Someone is delivered today. Book of Psalms 103 and we read verse 2. Hallelujah. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. Number one, he, for, he who forgives all your iniquities. And then once that healing is done, I mean once that forgiveness is done, healing follows. Once forgiveness is done, healing follows. And in the biblical context and spiritual context, healing refers to deliverance. Hallelujah. Because the one that is sick is, 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 is really possessed by spirit. And that spirit is a spirit of infirmity. And how do we see that? It is through sickness. So if he is healed, he is delivered from that spirit. Now you are resembling, you are manifesting poverty because you are possessed by a spirit of poverty which came through a gate called sin. Now when that sin is forgiven, that healing, that deliverance from poverty comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salt can never do that. Salt will never open the mouth and confess on your behalf. Anointing oils will never open mouth and confess on your behalf. Holy water will never open the mouth and confess. This is a principle that God has said, given us. Open your mouth and confess your sins. He's faithful and righteous to cleanse and forgive you your sins. And once sins are forgiven... Once sins are forgiven, healing is inevitable. Once sins are forgiven, prosperity comes. We are chasing prosperity, but you are coming from a deep, deep, deep seated um, powers of sins. Amen. You are chasing prosperity, but you are sinful. Then that prosperity that you'd get, surely it will never come from God. It will never come from God. Because he will never change his principles for you. 
He will never bend his laws for you. Opening your mouth tonight, confessing sins, breaking the power of sin in your, in your life would bring about healing. You are sitting in that wheelchair. You are changing doctors. You are in and out of doctors. You do not understand what is happening in your life. I tell you today, don't look any further. Sin is the cause. Sin is the cause. I get in and out of jobs. They suck me here. They chase me away here. They reject me here. They fire me there. Sin is the cause. Hallelujah. Men of God, I get attacked. I the demonic dreams. This and that. Sin is the cause. Sin. I told you the last time that Garden of Eden was very nice. Every day in the cool of the day, the Lord God Almighty will come down and visit his people. It was so beautiful. But sin came in. Sin. The same God that loved these people so much had to summon them and read the riot act and punish sin. And they were chased away from the garden. Who are you to think that you can be sinful and expect things from God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sin power over my life be broken. Hallelujah. Now, these sins, they come in three different forms. Well, for the, for the, for the, for the purposes of tonight, they come in three different forms. Number one, we are dealing with covenants. It is important to understand what you are dealing with. We are dealing with covenants. Covenants are agreements. I will make, I will touch on that quickly. Covenants, the realm of the spirit can never work in the realm of the physical without a covenant. Hallelujah. Poverty is a spirit. It's a spirit that when we cast out, it manifests and it says, it, I am poverty. Hallelujah. There is a spirit. It is a, it is a spiritual entity. It is a spiritual being. That comes into your life or into your bloodline through an agreement. That agreement is called the covenant. You may not be the one who formed that covenant. But again, spiritual principle. Whosoever did it in the bloodline tied you into that covenant. Hallelujah. So today, we are going to break every covenant that is not of God in my life. The, 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 the spiritual husbands, the spiritual wives that torment you day and night, they are having a liquor right over you through this thing called agreement or a covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Someone is learning tonight. So casting them out without dealing with the covenant is like taking a panado. You are just dealing with the headache now. After three hours, it comes back. Someone is learning today. Holy water won't deal with that thing. Oil and salt won't deal with that thing. There is a covenant that must be broken through confessions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Covenants, covenants. You are dying before time in that family. Someone made a covenant with demonic spirits. Someone made a covenant with water spirits. You are not getting married. Someone get made a covenant. Those covenants, unless they are broken, they will forever tie generations after generations. Covenants must be broken. Covenants must be broken. Covenants are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am saved by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm in a new covenant. But that new covenant can never just kick out the old covenant. Unless I revoke the old covenant. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. 
unless you provoke, you break the new covenant. The most common of covenant that we know is, is, is marriage. Marriage is a covenant. Hallelujah. You cannot just go and marry the new guy. You must divorce first. Hallelujah. We are rushing to Calvary. Yes, we are saved. But because we are covenanted to powers of darkness through, through our bloodline, we are, we are manifesting the powers of those covenants. You are manifesting poverty. Yet you fast 30 days, 40 days and nothing to show. You are manifesting miscarriages because what? Because of covenants that you are covenanted into. Thank you, Jesus. I hope someone is getting this. Covenant needs to be broken tonight. Our, our fathers sinned and they are no more. They tied the entire generation. Hallelujah. In my short stint of deliverance, we have had demons manifesting in my own case. Where there was an altar fighting us in my family. A 500 year old altar. 500 year old. Hallelujah. Where was I 500 years ago? Covenant was made 500 years. That the children that are going to be born out of this bloodline. They are all being tied here. Amen. And we are seeing um, 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 uh, the last two weeks I've had some that were 1840 something or the other one was 1865. Old covenants in a bloodline. What are the people manifesting? Failure, defeat, failure, stagnation, struggling. Oh, rebellion and I hope someone is understanding. Lord Jesus, please give them understanding. Please give them understanding. We are talking about iniquities, entrenched bloodline curses that you can never summarize them in two minutes, that you can never summarize them in, with prayer lines going up and down. They need you to open your mouth and confess and break them. Hallelujah. The other one is curses. Children of God, curses are alive. Curses are alive. Curses can tie you. Curses have got no, no, no protocol. They can pull you down and come down and be destroyed. Curses, the spoken words. If there is someone that is standing every night and every day, in the bloodline, somewhere in the realm of the spirit, casting spells over you. Those things will never just go away until you confront them. If someone stands there in the middle of the night over a grave or whatever, or this thing was done long time ago, cursing every girl child in this bloodline, those things will never go away. Yes, I am saved. But I'm manifesting the same problem as my sister who is not saved. Because the generation is cursed. They will never get children. They will never get children. They will never get children. Day and night. They will never get casting spells. Cursing you. They are holding your photos every day. You and your husband. They must divorce. They must divorce. They must fight. They must divorce. They must fight. They must divorce. Yes, the motives can be there. The charms can be there. But the power is in the words that they are speaking there. I hope someone is understanding me. We are going to pray. Curses must be broken. You break a curse. Holy salt can never break a curse. Holy water will never break a curse. You must open your mouth and break every word that has been spoken against me. Hallelujah. Let us quickly go to this book of Psalms 54. Someone is eating. Someone is eating. Drinking from the cup of knowledge. 
Hallelujah. Psalms, um, I mean, sorry, Isaiah, book of Isaiah 54, verse 17. It's a common verse that we all know, but today you are going to understand it in a different way. The book of Isaiah, prophet Isaiah, 54, verse 17. Yes, Ketiwe. The power of life and death is in the tongue. That's so powerful because witches understand that better than you, better than me, better than all of us. They understand it. They use it consistently every day until an entire generation is being caged and cursed through words that they speak. And you tonight, through your mouth, through words that you are going to speak, you are going to deliver your children. You are going to deliver your generation. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Hallelujah. I'm Isaiah 54. Hallelujah. Verse 17. It reads as follows. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Hallelujah. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Isaiah 54 verse 17. I know it's a, it's a, common, it's a common verse. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Amen. You shall condemn. 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 Using what? Your mouth. Opening your mouth. Condemning curses. You shall condemn. You shall condemn. Your pastor is not going to condemn it for you. You shall condemn. You shall condemn. Hallelujah. Every tongue which rises against you in judgment. So when they are saying you are not going to get children, they are casting a charge. They are casting a judgment. You are not going to get children. You are not getting, going to have happiness in that marriage. You are not going to be, have happiness in that marriage. That is a judgment. That is a judgment. And then what are you going must do? You must condemn that judgment using your mouth. You must condemn that judgment using your mouth. Hallelujah. It says here, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. So the Lord Jesus has given us this power to use our mouth to condemn this judgment of witches. But instead of doing that, we run to spend money for people to pray for me, for, to, for me to use holy water, to use all sorts of things. You must close your door in your house, go on your knees and open your mouth and condemn and condemn in the name of Jesus. So as they did, they did not curse you overnight. It took time. We are rushing. We are in a hurry. We want to see miracles. We want to see breakthroughs. It takes time. Things of the spirit, they take time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. You shall condemn. You shall condemn. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you shall condemn. Hallelujah. And this is the heritage of us as children of God. But it's a pity that witches understand it better and they've stolen it and they are using it to tie pastors, to tie preachers, to tie children of God. There is no happiness in that marriage. There is no peace. You don't have money. Because someone used this and spoke words over you. And those words are called curses. Today, we are going to break them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And covenants, covenants and curses, all that 
in most cases, is being done over altars. It's being done over wicked altars. Hallelujah. These are platforms where divinity meets the physical. It's called an altar. We didn't know that 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 a little heart in your house, in your homestead at home, that's an altar. We call it Msamo, those shrines. I was driving across, um, driving just through one village here in KZN. And I was just looking at the amount of those little hearts, the roundavels, where we all go there, things are done there, slaughtering of goats and all. Those are altars. And now if you see a village of maybe 200, 300 households, let's say 300, and 200 of those households are having these altars. That entire village is dark. Amen. That entire village is dark because all, all of all these evil altars, all these ancestral altars, your, your, your children are tied there. Your destinies are tied there. Your glory, your star, your marriages, your peace, your happiness is tied in there. So covenants and curses, in most cases, they are, they are being done or prepared in a place called altar. That's where the spirituality or divinity meets the physical. In a platform called an altar. That's where you go there and you speak to yourself. Because the, the spiritual entities are listening. And they are going to do as such. That is why we go to our altar. Altar of prayer. You kneel and you speak. Because that's where you meet spirituality. Those are altars. So those altars today are the ones that are tying us. They've tied you, they've tied your brothers, they've tied villages, they've tied countries, they've tied tribes. These are altars that we must face. We are about to pray now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are about to pray now. Lord Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. We are about to pray now. We are loaded with information. We are loaded with knowledge. Give Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, give them discernment. Give them deeper understanding. Hallelujah. Give them deeper understanding. D deeper understanding of the things that I may not have said. But Lord Jesus, please give them understanding. Let us read our last verse on the book of Second Chronicles. This is going to be our prayer point. Amen. Someone type the second Chronicles chapter 7. This is going to change your life forever. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Someone please type on the comments there. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. We are about to pray now. We are about to pray now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. It reads as follows. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. Let me read it again. I'm using the New King James Version. Hallelujah. If my people, if, if means that you have a choice, if you do it and if you don't do it, if you do it, today you have a choice. 
if you do it. If my people who are called by my name, not sinners. Ah, men of God, this thing of repentance is for sinners. I was saved in the in Calvary in 1990, but you are you are you are you are not showing any signs of 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 of, of being fruitful. Hear me and hear me well today. If my people who are called my name, me and you, the children of God, hallelujah, will humble themselves. This is the, 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 the tricky part. Will humble themselves. Number one, they must pray. Number two, not just praying and walloping around and making noise, but they must, they must seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. And what am I going to do, me as the Lord? I will then hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Again, we see the forgiveness of sin resulting to healing. We see the forgiveness of sin resulting to healing. I will heal their land. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. I will hear I will hear Isaiah 59 verse 2, 1 and 2. What is blocking me from not hearing them is sin. So if they humble themselves, if they humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, I will hear the forgiveness of sin, the removal of sin out of the equation makes God to hear. Let us read verse 15. Now my eyes will open and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now my ears will open. No, sorry. Now my eyes will open and my ears attentive. Someone have been praying for many years, making noise, consoling yourself. Sin was blocking God from hearing you. Sin. The more you pray, the more you get harassed by spiritual wives. The more you pray, the more you get harassed by spiritual husband. Sin. The more you pray, the more you fast, the more you get frustrated. The more they retrench you, the more they kick you out, the more they take from you. Because why? The sin is left unattended. Today we are going to uproot the sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then it says, My ear. We are praying to God. Oh God, please answer me. Please hear my prayer. He says, My ears attentive to prayer made in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Today we are going to open the ear of God. He's going to hear you. Hallelujah. Number one, it's humbleness, Bazalwani. Humbleness. Most of you now are flying up there. You know doctrines, you know ministries, you know prophets, you follow prophets, you idolize prophets, you bow for prophets. God is nowhere near whatever you are doing. Today, you are going to humble yourself and go to your father and go to your maker. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. I have been doing this thing by myself. You are not there. Today, I want you, Christ, to hold my hands, to show me the way, to lead me. Lord Jesus, I come to you now. I humble myself like the prodigal son. The prodigal son who went back home. Someone is going back to the maker today. He went back home. He humbled himself. And the father upon seeing him, he rushed to his son, opened his arms, hugged his son, and welcomed him back home. Someone is going to come back home. Humbleness. Humble yourself. 
We humbled ourselves today through fasting for three days. We were humbling ourselves. Now we are going to pray and seek the face of God and seek the faith. And it doesn't end there. Then we turn away from our wicked ways. Hallelujah. Those are four things that you must do. Those are four things that you must do. Number one, you must humble yourself. We are going to humble ourselves now. We are going to pray. We are going to seek the face of God. We are going to turn away from our wicked ways. And what is he going to do? He is going to forgive us our sins. That is number one, Bazalwan. I don't care what you can say, where, where you can go, for as long as there is sin, you are wasting your breath, you are wasting your energy, you are wasting your time. Hallelujah. Salvation will take you to heaven, but your time here on earth, you would continue to suffer. Praise God. The Lord will forgive. He will heal our land. His ear will, will be attentive to your prayer. And his eyes would open to your plight and to your problems. We are praying now. We are praying now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Forget yourself now. Get up now. Forget yourself. Walk around now. Get up now and forget yourself. Lord Jesus, I come to you. Father, I'm a sinner. I have sinned before you. Lord Jesus, I come before the mercy seat in this hour. Lord Jesus, my fathers have sinned before you. Father, I confess, I confess the sins of, of idolatry. Father, idol worship in this family. Father, I confess witchcraft. Father, I confess today, I confess today, I confess adultery, I confess adultery, I confess sorcery. Lord Jesus, please have mercy on this family. Lord Jesus, please have mercy on me. Please have mercy on my siblings. Please have mercy on this village. I confess adultery. I confess witchcraft. I confess robbery. I confess murder and bloodshed. My forefathers killed people. My forefathers bewitch people. My forefathers rob, fornication, fornication and adultery in the bloodline. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Lord Jesus, I cry to you right now in this hour. I humble myself, Lord. I have done everything. I have done everything according to my own understanding. Father, I come to you now with this knowledge that you have given me today. I humble humble myself to you. I pray to you, Lord. I pray to you, Lord. I'm seeking your face, oh Lord. Do not turn your face away from me. Do not turn your face away from my family. Deliver my family, Lord. Deliver my family, Lord. Open every door that has been shut. It has been shut by curses. It has been shut by covenants. It has been shut by evil altars. Break every altar, oh Lord. 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 Every altar that is fighting me. Every altar that is praying, fighting my family. Every altar that is fighting my children. Every altar that is fighting my my children going forward. Father, I confess all the sins I confess. Lift up my hands. I repent on behalf of my forefathers. I repent on behalf of my four generations. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Pray, 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 pray. Open that mouth and pray. Open that mouth and confess. Open the mouth and confess. Humble yourself before your maker. Cry to your maker. Cry to your maker. Open your mouth. Walk around. Walk around. Pray. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. 
Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Chains are broken now. Chains are broken now. The power of confession. The power of confession. Sin power over my life be broken now. Sin power over my life be broken now. Sin power over my life be broken now. Every covenant that I'm tied into, every covenant that has tied this family into poverty, every covenant that has tied this family into untimely death, into infirmities and sicknesses, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth, your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord Jesus, I come to you now. Lord Jesus, I confess, Lord. I repent, Lord. I confess, Lord. I repent, Lord, of all the iniquities of our forefathers. All the iniquities of our forefathers. They are no more now. Their sins are upon us. Their sins are upon us. Forgive this generation, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord. Cleanse us, O Lord. Wash us by the blood. Purify me, O Lord. I surrender I surrender my life to you, Jesus. I surrender my life to you, Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Humble yourself before your maker. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Cry to your maker. Cry to your maker. Cry to your maker. Cry to your maker. Seek his face now. Seek his face now. Seek his face now. Open your mouth. The power is in the confession. The power is in the opening of that mouth. We have sinned before you, Lord. We have sinned before you, Lord. We have sinned before you, Lord. We have built altars. We have submitted. We have bowed to foreign gods. We have bowed to altars. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Humble yourself. Open up your mouth and pray. Humble yourself. Open up your mouth and pray. Humble yourself. Open up your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. We are dying like flies in this family. We bury every year. Every six months we bury people in this family. We don't know what is eating them. Lord Jesus, thank you for enlightening me today. The sin power over this family be broken. No one is working in this family. No one is married in this family. Sin power. We break the covenant. We break the initiation. We break every covenant, every initiation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, every spoken word, every spoken word, I rise, O oh Lord, against every word. I come to you, Lord, against every word that has been said, that has been spoken against us in judgment, O oh Lord. I condemn it now. I condemn it now. Words against my family, words against my marriage, words against my children. I condemn them now. I condemn them now. I condemn them now. I renounce them now. I renounce them now. I break them now. I break them now. Release us, O oh Lord. Release us, O oh Lord. Release us, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, release my family. Lord Jesus, release my family. Lord Jesus, release us. I break every power, every sin power over my life. Be broken now. Pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. You can never see it. You can never see it when you are suffering so much. You can never see it when your family is suffering so much. Pray now. I'm holding, you hold my hands. Hold my hands. Tie my, and tie yourself into my faith. Grab my faith. Let's go to the mercy seat. Let's go to the mercy seat. Let's lift our hands. He says when we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us. Oh, that forgiveness comes with healing. Oh, that forgiveness comes with deliverance. Oh, that forgiveness comes with open doors. Oh, that forgiveness will break chains. Lord Jesus, we come to you now. We come to you now, our maker. We 
We come to you now, our Father. Sin power over my life be broken. The power of immorality be broken now. Be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ, you are mighty. Jesus Christ, you are mighty. Jesus Christ, you are worthy. Jesus Christ, you are mighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We worship you now. Thank you, Father. We worship you now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you now. Thank you for your faithfulness, Father. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for releasing your people. Thank you for releasing your people from bondages and sins and powers of darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship your name now. You are mighty, Lord. You are mighty, King Jesus. King of glory, we worship you now. Lord God of power, we worship you now. Father, we lift up our hands. We give you all the glory and all the honor for the, broke, for the chains that have been broken, for the deliverance, for the healing that is working now through your, into, in your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank the Lord God Almighty for giving us this opportunity to meet and pray. Hallelujah. This is the only beginning. People that want to lead a victorious life in the things of the Spirit, the principles of the Spirit are very important. Amen. It is very important. I, what I've given you in the past three days is something that can deliver you and deliver your entire generation until the day of the Lord. I know it. I have seen it in my own life where I have faced altars and they were broken and we were released from a very old altar. Amen. We have seen it. The, 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 the brethren that I pray with and the people that people of God that I pray for almost every day we confront altars, covenants and curses. They are broken and people are released. Your prayer life, you can't even pray for 10 minutes. The altar is tying you down. You can never shout the name of the Lord freely while you are tied up into altars of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 